Life is not only about work and tech; it's also about love, art, and exploring. I'm traveling to Toronto to speak at a conference. I'm really excited to meet some online friends for the first time and make new friends. I'm also hoping to catch up with some coworkers and visit the city before the conference. After I dropped my things off at the hotel, I went to this cute coffee shop to meet up with my one and only Canadian coworker. We talked about how much I love Toronto. Yes, I just got here and I already fell in love with the city. Ah, it's still seasoning. Take it. Oh, that snow over there. Yeah, I told you a couple of weeks ago that was a decent amount. Wow. This is the legislation building. Yeah. So cool. At night, I met up with my friend Stephanie for dinner. So pretty this place. She's also speaking at the conference, and she's super cool. My talk is tomorrow, so it's time to go back to practice my talk. I used to get super nervous and needed to practice my talk many, many times. It's good that I don't feel anxious to give a talk anymore, so I only practiced once tonight, and I think I'm ready to go. My talk tomorrow is at three thirty, so I think I'm ready. <laughs> we'll see. I'm pretty excited tomorrow to meet new people. Yeah. Well, the most exciting thing about conferences is you always get to meet new friends and. Catch up with me, old friends. We'll see. I know there will be someone that I have met online before, and I will be able to meet her in person. Pretty excited. Stay tuned. And yeah, hopefully I get to see her tomorrow. Maybe we'll, we'll have dinner together. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with this vlog. Not sure if I'm gonna publish this vlog or not. Since I don't really know how to make vlogs, and okay, my battery is low. Nothing. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna work a little more for probably an hour or two, and then we can call it a night. My book club is reading the book Reliable Machine Learning this month, and we're meeting with the authors this week. So I'm trying to finish the book. By the way, I finished the book on my flight back, and we had a great discussion with the authors. On the way to the conference, it's cold. It's like one degree Celsius, almost freezing. And I really like Canada or Toronto. I don't know about the rest of the Canada yet. It's it's nice. It's walkable. <laughs> the city energizes me, and I like walking everywhere. I don't like driving. I'm almost there. 
ya keringat teh This conference is called the Toronto Machine Learning Summit with over a thousand attendees. There is a vibrant ML and AI community in Toronto. I'm glad to be part of it. People here talk about ML ops, feature stores, model serving, experiment tracking, and continual learning. After a very special performance, the organizer Dave Sharp Edge gave the opening remarks. Super cute. Should I get one? Oh, what's the flavor? Caramel, chocolate, hazelnut. I completely forgot that I have a 10 a.m. meeting, so I rushed to the speaker lounge to attend my meeting. I finally got to meet my favorite author of the year, Chip. I love Chip's book, Designing Machine Learning Systems. I did a video summarizing her book. Watch my video if you're interested. I went to several talks afterwards. The first talk is presented by two ML engineers from Twitch. They talk about federated feature stores and federated ML infrastructure. Lots of good information in one talk. The second talk is from the director of analytics at Coca-Cola and a startup founder on how they used machine learning and mobility data to optimize the placement of vending machines in Canada. The third talk is by Chip on real-time ML. She talked about the four stages of online prediction. After that, I give my talk on PyScript, which is a tool to allow you to write Python in HTML and run in the browser with no server needed. The talk was very well received and lots of people came to ask questions after my talk. Do you guys want to be on my YouTube? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to interview him. We should interview both of you. Hello world. This is the end of the day one of the conference. I had an amazing day today. I went to several talks, all very interesting. I did a talk on PyScript. It was well received. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for whoever has come to the session. And then we went to a happy hour and had dinner. One of the things that I like to do at a conference is to collect swags. <laughs> I know there are a lot of people who don't do that. Uh, they don't like t-shirts with the company logos. But I like free t-shirts. Who doesn't like free t-shirts? <laughs> I have lots of company conference t-shirts now. So yeah, so well this time I only have one free t-shirt. <laughs> this one from EVC. EVC is a data version control tool. Not sponsored. Not my videos are sponsored by the way. So I got a box of thank you chocolate from the conference organizers. Thank you so much. You guys rock. made soap, also from the conference organizer. Thank you. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Isn't this cute? Oh, kiss you. This is so cute. This is probably the best swag I've ever got at a conference. I love it so much. His name is Divi. Is it a he or a she? I can't decide yet. Anyways, Divi. Um, also from DVC. Thank you guys. This is the best. I don't know if it will fit in my luggage. Um, but I really like it. I also got some socks. Got some totes from Data Echo. 
I really like that um, there's not an obvious logo here. So it's very generic. Good. So my plan for the night is to read more book chapters. Um, the book Reliable Machine Learning. Our book, our book club is chatting with the book authors this Thursday. So, and I still have five or six chapters to go, which means I have to finish those chapters in the next two days. So, good luck. I hope I can finish it. Mm. Yeah, I know November is crazy. I have a lot of traveling, lots of uh, work. I mean, I'm not falling behind on the books. It's just there are a lot of chapters with this book specifically. Um, so in the previous month, we mostly only read two chapters a week and we're able to finish all the, the books. So this is the only book that goes beyond nine, ten chapters. It has 15 chapters, which is a lot. Oh, I'm also tired. It's eight o'clock. It's still a little dark on the side. Is it raining? I can't tell if it's raining or not. A friend mentioned yesterday that there is a really nice French bakery around the corner. So, yeah, I think I might go there for breakfast. What do you think? I should give it a try, right? <laughs> I see someone carrying an umbrella, so maybe it's raining. My shoes are not waterproof. Okay, so maybe that won't happen. <laughs> okay, looks like it's raining outside, so I'm just gonna start packing and hopefully the rain will stop and then we can go eat breakfast and then go to the conference for the last day. I went to two talks this morning, one on AI medical imaging, I was totally lost. Another talk by the head of ML at DoorDash on their ML platform. His talk was my favorite at the conference. He talked about ML use cases at DoorDash, how to optimize feature stores, and how to be customer focused. His talk was so good and so engaging. I recommend it if anyone wants to watch the videos later.